Getting that annoying sight-blocked screen on your school Chromebook? Yeah, we've all seen it. So, for that, we'll just navigate to replit.com. All right, here we are in the Replit dashboard. To get started, we need a new environment. Let's hit that Create App button. Now, Replit offers a few ways to start. The AI agent, templates, importing from GitHub. For this experiment, we want maximum control and minimal interference. So we'll go to choose a template and search for blank REPL. There it is. Perfect. A totally clean slate. It gives us a funky default name. Let's change that to something descriptive. Firefox test. Looks good. Privacy is public, that's fine for this demo. Let's hit Create App and let Replit work its magic. Okay, our workspace is spinning up. We land on the Configure Your App page initially. You can see the standard layout, files on the left, the main pane with tabs like Assistant, Console, and Shell. Now, even a blank REPL has a few configuration files like replit.nix, .replit, a readme, an icon, and a hidden .git folder. All right, let's close the config tab. Now, the core of this is the shell. Now, head to shell tab. This gives us direct command line access. Let's just try running Firefox like we would on a local machine. Type Firefox and enter. Okay, command not installed. No surprise there, but check this out. Replit's integration with the Nix package manager is incredibly powerful. It recognizes Firefox and instantly suggests packages we can install. Now select the option Firefox Unwrapped. Now watch this. Replit uses Nix to fetch and configure Firefox right within our container. It adds the dependency to our replit.nix file automatically. This might take a few moments. Processing. And success. Firefox is installed. There it is. A fully functional Firefox window running inside replit. Let's maximize this pane for a better look. This is awesome. But does it actually browse? Let's try loading YouTube. Click the address bar. Tap the YouTube suggestion. And look at that. YouTube is loading perfectly fine, right here in our cloud environment. Let's try one more. How about Reddit? Type Reddit. Google search results pop up within Firefox. And there we have it, the Reddit dot. And there you go, a full desktop browser running inside your cloud workspace and a smart, safe way to access blocked websites